Hey guys, uh, welcome to your uh, love reading. Uh, this is going to be for Cancer. Uh, you can apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for May 2022. So we're going to take a look at your uh, current overall energies regarding love and the person that you're connecting with for May. And then we will see what your person's current true feelings and intentions are towards you. And then we'll finish off the read with the possible outcome and advice and what else you guys need to know. So just apply this to your own unique situation, okay? Switch the rules if you want. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate, take a look at, take a look at your other placements. Um... If you guys haven't done so yet, hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post. Uh, give this video a thumbs up, like this video, share this video, leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonates. Uh, keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective cancer people. I'm not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. So if you're looking for a reading that's tailored to your own unique situation, to your own specific unique energies, I suggest you book a private personal reading with me can't get anything more specific than a personal reading because these messages uh these collective messages that i do put out it's definitely different than you know a personal reading okay so just keep that in mind um so yeah so if you guys if you guys are interested in, in a personal reading uh the link for that is in the description box below okay so uh let's get started cancer over energies for cancer. What is surrounding cancer? What does cancer need to know regarding love and the person that they are connecting with for uh, May 2022? Sun, moon, rising, Venus signs for um, cancer. All right, let's see what we have here for you, cancer. We have temperance that jumped out, okay? I think that jumped out in the reverse. Let's see. Okay, temperance in the reverse. So Sagittarius energy, okay? Could be dealing with a Sag. You might have Sag in your chart. We have the Ten of Wands. Whoever whoever this is, there's a lack of balance. There's a lack of peace in this person's life. I feel like this person's also lacking patience because I feel like this person is overwhelmed with a lot of things that's going on in their life. This person has a lot of baggage, whoever this is, okay? Uh, let's see what else we have here for you. Okay, we have the Fool here, Aries Energy. Uh, it could also be Aquarius and the Five of Wands. This person is trying to avoid conflict. Whoever this is. So I feel like this is someone that you've been dealing with or that this is someone that you're currently dealing with, okay? Uh, or someone from the past. This is someone that, you know, every time there is an issue, I feel like this person runs away, okay? This person does not want to deal with it. That's why this person's holding a Ten of Wands here. Yeah. I mean, you can't run away from your problems. It's always going to catch up to you. And I feel like whoever this is, it's catching up to them. Um, we have the Eight of Cups, and then we have the Ace of Cups. Now, I feel like, you know, if you were dealing with this person in the past, I feel like you left this person behind, and I feel like you went off to find new love. So a lot of you guys might be dealing with someone new here, okay? Okay. You might be dealing with someone new. You definitely left this behind. You left this chaos behind. You didn't want any part of this person's uh, uh, drama and trauma. Uh, because I feel like, you know, with the temperance card in the reverse, this is, person, this is an individual that hasn't really done anything to heal themselves. Okay? So, I mean, a lot of these problems that this person's carrying around with them uh, it's probably stems from their childhood. All right, tell me about temperance. Why is temperance here? The Magician, Gemini, Virgo, Energy, Ten of Wands. And then we have the High Priestess here, Cancer, Pisces, Energy, the Fool. We have the Double, Capricorn, Energy, the Five of Wands. We have the Ace of Wands here. Five, five, five plus one is six. Eight of Cups. We have the Nine of Swords. Ace of Cups. And the Eight of Wands. You know, I feel like... You could have been dealing uh, with someone here who's incredibly toxic, okay? Um, but I feel like, you know, I feel like it might have taken you a while to walk away from this because I feel like you were really stressed out and anxious about walking away from this individual because, you know, I feel like you really cared about them. But I feel like you moved on to new love, okay? So we have the magician here, uh, Gemini Virgo Energy. 
We have the High Priestess, Cancer, Pisces energy. So I feel like right now you're in this energy of perhaps, you know, manifesting, focusing on yourself, trusting your intuition here, okay? You know, um, you could have been dealing with someone who's very manipulative and someone here who kept a lot of secrets from you, okay? Uh, but I, yeah, I just feel like he took off. Yeah, I feel like he took off the devil, Capricorn energy. You know, whoever this is, this is someone here who basically had a hard time or is currently still having a hard time really getting over or getting past their baggage here. Um, five of Wands and the Ace of Wands here. Whoever this is, this person that you were, are dealing with or you were dealing with here, this person could have only been looking for sex here, okay? We have the Nine of Swords. Yeah, you, you, I feel like you just avoided this or that you just went off to have a new beginning. Even though, you know, you care about this person and you're, you were stressed out about leaving this person, I feel like you moved on to someone new. Ace of Wands and the Ace of Cups. Okay, let's see what else we have here. Tell me about the person that Cancer is dealing with here. What is this person's current true feelings and intentions towards Cancer for uh, May 2022? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Cancer. All right, let's see what, what we have here. We have the King of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. Could be dealing with the Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. Energies we have here so far, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Gemini, Cancer, Pisces, Sagittarius, Aries, Aquarius. You could be dealing with any of those energies. You might have those energies in your chart too. Keep in mind, it's not only all about the sun sign. It's all, it's, you know, your sun, moon, moon rising, Venus. You know, we have all those planets there, too. Uh, we have the Hangman, Piscean Energy. Oh, we have the Three of Pentacles and the Four of Swords. Ten of Pentacles and the King of Swords. Okay. So, I'm getting two masculine energies here, Okay. So you could either be dealing with the King of Pentacles or a King of Swords. I feel like you're dealing with a situation here, a new situation where things are going pretty well. I feel like you and this King of Swords might be moving towards a Ten of Pentacles here. Now, I feel like this King of Pentacles is a past person, okay? Uh, whoever this is, I feel like this this is an individual that's seeking, you know, you know, releasing to the divine. I feel like this individual is seeking enlightenment here. I feel like this person is actually, you know, working on themselves or perhaps this person also has support from others uh, to heal. I feel like this person's trying to heal here, okay? Let's see what else we have here. You definitely have a new situation here, I feel, okay? Um, tell me about the King of Pentacles. Three of Cups, Hangman, and the Eight of Pentacles. So I feel like this person's surrounding themselves with people that's going to help this person out and give this person the tools to best manage their baggage here, their pain, their trauma. I do feel like this person's, um, you know, surrounding themselves with the proper soul group or their soul tribe or something like that. And this person's definitely working on their healing here. Okay, we have the Eight of Pentacles. This person's re working really hard to seek some sort of enlightenment here, looking for a broader perspective of their situation and not having myopic views here. Uh, three of Pentacles and the Wheel of Fortune, Four of Swords, and the Three of Wands. Now, I feel like this person might be learning their lessons here. We have someone here who's, um, you know, clearing out their karmic cycle or that this person's clearing out their karma and looking towards the future here. I feel like this person's also trying to find themselves too. Tell me about the Ten of Pentacles here. We have the Knight of Wands, King of Swords, and the Knight of Pentacles. This is interesting. This is a new individual that you're dealing with. I feel like this person is a lot of fun. I feel like this person's very adventurous, but I feel like this person's also very methodical and reliable at the same time. Uh, my only concern is when I see a lot of knights, this person could be very inconsistent. This person could be very, very flighty, but I feel like you might have struck gold here with someone. Because, it, you know, I feel like this person is very fun. Yeah, I feel like this person is very adventurous. Maybe that's something that you've been looking for here. Okay, looking, you know, just to try something new. But I feel like this person wants to build long term here with you. OK, uh, it could be a situation, you know, you guys are having a good time and you guys are taking things really slow. 
okay? Um, let's see what else we have here. Outcome and advice here for cancer regarding their love situation for the um, end, not the end, for May 2022. Sun, moon, rising, Venus signs. What else does cancer need to know? What else does cancer need to know here regarding love and the person that they are connecting with? Seven of Wands. Oh, why did I do that? I want this. Okay, Ten of Swords. Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag. Why did I do that? I want this. Strength card, Leo, Energy. You got the Page of Wands and then the Six of Pentacles here. So I feel like this queen is you. And then we have two other masculine energies, okay? I do feel like this past person might be trying to come back towards you. You got the Seven of Wands, Ten of Swords. I feel like you might be blocking this person out. I just feel like you're just closing the door on this person. This is interesting because Cancer, I feel like with the new person, you feel like you definitely struck gold with this individual. You know, in a way you feel like, you know, you're having a normal relationship with someone or that you're going through like the normal process or something like that. There's no, like no chaos and stuff like that. Uh, we have the Queen of Wands and um, uh, uh, and uh, the Strength card, uh, Sagittarius energy, uh, not Sagittarius, Leo energy. So um, Cancer, you might have some fire energy in your chart here because I'm getting a lot of fire, okay? Um, uh, Page of Wands and the Six of Pentacles. Someone here might be trying to come back towards you, I feel. Yeah, whoever this is, this is a very immature individual. This person might throw a lot of temper tantrums. This person might have put you in a friends with benefits sort of thing. Uh, this person could have told you, yeah, cancer, we are in a relationship, but you know, behind their back, they're running around, maybe sleeping with other people and dating other people here. Um, let's see what else we have here. Yeah, you know, I feel like, you know, since maybe you separated from this past person, you know, you, you become maybe more attractive or something like that. And perhaps that's why this past person might be trying to come back. Seven of Wands. This person might be seeing you with someone new and they're not okay with that. Two of Pentacles. Ten of Swords. We have the Nine of Pentacles, Virgo Energy, Pre-Empress Energy. Okay, so right now, even though you're dealing with someone new, I feel like right now you're just taking things slow because you are currently single here, okay? So, um, you know, maybe you're exclusively dating someone. You know, dating someone new. We have the Nine of Pentacles here, Virgo energy, pre-Empress energy. Uh, you know, so right now you're in this energy, really focusing on your work. Some of you guys might own businesses, okay? Queen of Wands, Knight of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, the Strength card, and King of Wands here. Wow. There could be multiple people here. I mean, we have some here that's definitely trying to rush back. Definitely trying to rush back here. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy with that King of Wands. We have that Page of Wands there too. We have Judgment. Yeah, someone here is looking for a reconciliation. Six of Pentacles and the Six of Cups. Yeah, someone from your past is definitely coming back. But I feel like you're saying bye-bye to this individual here because I feel like you're just like, you know, um, I just feel like you struck gold with someone new. Yeah, I feel like new is better instead of going back to the old. Okay, yeah, someone here is definitely coming back. This past person that you dealt with here could be a soulmate, okay? A past life soulmate. This new person could be a soulmate too. I mean, we have multiple soulmates in this lifetime. So, I mean, Cancer, this looks really good, okay? So Cancer, hope this was helpful. Hope this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this video, like this video. If you haven't done so yet, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Speak to you guys in the next one. All right, thanks guys. Bye.